Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, future energies for you in love, as well as the energies between you and the person that you will be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Leo watching. So let's jump right in for Leo. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, guidance for Leo regarding love, regarding the person they're thinking about connecting with what's going on in the connection between Leo and this other person what's going on in their connection six of Pentacles reverse what's going on in their connection person that Leo is thinking about okay we have six of Pentacles reverse Capric and then Capricorn energy with the devil I don't know why I said Capricorn. <laughs> I instantly thought of Capricorn, but I think there's an imbalance going on. I feel like um, someone could be controlling in this connection or uh, could be a bit more invested, more involved, more um, emotionally attached than another person, perhaps. Or there's an unhealthy dynamic, uh, an unhealthy attachment that is off balance what else do we need to know what else do we need to know about this connection between leo and this other person what else do we need to know justice libra energy um yeah i feel like there's there needs to be a uh rebalancing here um, because something's not quite right leo between you and this person there's something off in your connection there could be um uh conflict uh arguments there could be a feeling that things are just not quite right um perhaps uh one person could be putting more into this connection than the other one person could be giving more to this connection than the other or there's some sort of unhealthy dynamic like i said um toxic behaviors toxic ways of thinking or ways of dealing with a situation that are unhealthy <clears throat> tell me about the devil <clears throat> excuse me tell me about the devil what do we need to know about the devil why is the devil here that's a lot but i'm going to take them ace of cups page of wands reverse the full reverse four of swords okay so there's no action here instead of taking steps forward you know, taking the initiative someone's just kind of resting thinking reflecting laying down that kind of energy the full reverse is someone that is hesitating or um being reckless especially the full reverse and the page of wands reverse together <clears throat> i don't know what's going on in my throat uh these two together are definitely reckless energies you know someone that's not thinking about what steps they're taking they're not thinking about the consequences they're just kind of just jumping in head first but the four of swords kind of tells me that it's this is probably somebody that's not taking the action that they need to take however there's love here ace of cups but i'm wondering if this is love or emotions that have been kind of messed with in a way because i have the devil here and sometimes when I think of the devil and something like Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, I think of love with conditions, um, love with uh, some sort of, you know, it's not always good. There's something about it that's not quite right. Even though it's love, it's been tainted in some way. I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like it's 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 probably due to the fact that someone's not doing what they're supposed to be doing or not doing what they said they would do or whatever they are doing. It just ends up backfiring. Tell me about the six of pentacles reverse. Why is the six of pentacles reverse? Nine of wands. Yeah, someone's almost like on guard here. They have a wall up or they're just finding it a bit hard to trust because of this unbalance. Judgment, interesting. Someone's re uh, realizing or uh, learning about this imbalance. There's uh, probably something, yeah, 
and then the temperance card it's probably something spiritual that's happening because these are two angels here with judgment and temperance uh, temperance is all about kind of making two very difficult things come together finding balance finding resolution and harmony and the nine of swords is reversed so i feel like someone's slowly getting out of a fog like a mental fog that they had <clears throat> this could be you this could be your person because this is what's going on in your connection leo and both of your energies are in this connection obviously so take it as it resonates but i feel like someone's kind of i don't know they're slowly realizing something slowly finding their way out of this mental anguish or anxiety that they've been experiencing um and it has to do with an imbalance first so i'm talking to a leo whose connection is a bit off i'm talking to a leo whose connection needs balance needs something to be fair because right now something's not right so justice is here let's see what can we know what can we learn about justice what can eight of wands okay what do we need to know about justice why is justice here why is justice here? Libra energy with justice. Yeah, the chariot, cancer energy. This is movement, eight of wands and the chariot. Movement forward, a direction, action. Justice is here to help someone move forward. Nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like wherever this person's headed, it's somewhere really fulfilling, really satisfying. This is very interesting. Cancer energy with the cherry, if I didn't say that already. I kind of find it interesting that there's no movement here. Or if there is, it's not headed anywhere. Because that's kind of the full reverse in the page of wands reverse. One step forward, two steps back. Um, so the eight of wands here with the cherry, it's almost like the complete opposite of this energy. What can you tell us, Spirit, about the eight of wands and the chariot? For Leo, what can you tell us about the Eight of Wands and the Chariot? Six of Cups and the Six of Swords, bottom of the deck. So this is about the past. You could be leaving the past behind. You could be leaving some sort of, um, I heard like comfort. So this could be someone's comfortable space or somewhere where they feel the most comfortable. <clears throat> and this is about, Le I'm so sorry about, clearing my throat 800 times I, I'm trying to um, <laughs> not have it be annoying but I can't help it okay so this could be somebody leaving this comfortable cocoon behind it's kind of what I'm picking up here six of swords is about moving forward chariot is about moving forward so I don't feel like this is someone returning to the past I feel like this is someone moving past what's happened maybe someone needs to leave in order to have things be right again or things be balanced or things be fair this could be again this could be you or your person take it as it resonates so let's see what's going on between you and this other person what are the energies between you i'm going to start with the tarot and then i'll grab some oracles what do we need to know spirit about the energies between Leo and this other person. What do we need to know about how Leo and this other person are thinking, feeling, interacting with each other? What do we need to know about Leo and this other person? <clears throat> what do we need to know? Leo, I'm gonna have you on one side, your person on the other but the energies can be flipped. So feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me about Leo's energies. What do we need to know about Leo? What do we need to know about Leo's energies? Nine of Swords reverse, okay. What do we need to know about Leo's energies? The star, Aquarius energy. What do we need to know about Leo's energy? Ten of Cups reverse, the higher font reverse. Yikes. Okay. Tell me about the person Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person they're thinking about or connecting with? The chariot. What do we need to know about this person that Leo is thinking about or connecting with? Knight of Pentacles, the strength reverse. There you are, Leo. 
And I want this one too. Three of Swords. Okay, so you're both kind of in the same boat, I feel. Um, either you're thinking about the same situation or you're both doing the same thing but in your own lives. I feel with the Hierophant reverse, Taurus energy, and the Ten of Cups reverse, something has been very disappointing for you, very heartbreaking for you, very difficult. I feel some of you, the um, and obviously this won't resonate for every single person watching that happens to have Leo in their chart, but some of you, I feel like you were trying to look past the pain because you wanted to do the right thing. But I don't think you're in that mindset anymore. Um, I feel like you were, maybe you were even doing something out of guilt. But I feel like you're not doing that anymore. Um, this is someone that's overcoming their mental anguish or anxiety. This is the Nine of Swords reverse is somebody that sees the light at the end of the tunnel. And I have the star right next to it. So definitely somebody seeing a way out of their situation or having hope again. Tell me about this star. Tell me about this star. This is healing as well. Renewal. Yeah, Ace of Cups. We have the Page of Swords and the High Priestess. So this could be an intuition, uh, your intuition spirit um, guiding you, giving you information. This could also be some someone else coming into your life. Someone that gives you hope. Um, I have the lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy here. So with the lovers and the Ace of Cups, this could be love coming in. Maybe you start talking to somebody, Page of Swords. But I think also that this is information, almost like spirit is helping you. Um, and with the lovers, I'm thinking of someone that's coming back to themselves, which that's not what the lovers really means. <laughs> but... Um, the Lovers is really a card about the duality be in, within us, right? What our heart wants, what our mind wants, and how sometimes that's not the same thing. Um, how sometimes we ignore one for the other. So when I think of the Lovers, I almost am picturing you having to have maybe used your head or your mind or your logic for something for a really long time, but now maybe you're listening with your heart or thinking of what your heart wants or what is emotionally more fulfilling for you. I hope that makes sense. So I do see both. I see new love coming in, but I also see some of you just returning to who you truly are inside. Tell me about the Hierophant Reverse. What's this Hierophant Reverse for Leo? What do we need to know about the Hierophant Reverse? Yeah. Something something here was not fair to you. Five of Swords. Somebody could have um, taken advantage of the situation, taken advantage of you, taken advantage of your kindness, did something behind your back, or just didn't treat you right. I mean, it doesn't really have to be that complicated. This could be somebody that just wasn't on your side. Um, can I get some insight about Leo? There could have even been someone keeping something from you because I have the High Priestess here with the Page of Swords. So when I see these two together, I think of someone that's investigating, you know, finding something out, getting information about something that's hidden, trying to figure, you know, the truth about something, et cetera, et cetera. What do we need to know for Leo? What do we need to know for Leo? What do we need to know, Spirit? Using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. I use all the time. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box if you want to check them out. Taking action, movement, action, courage. Time to make a move. And then I have moving forward at the bottom of the deck. So you could be thinking about moving in a new direction here. Which makes sense. It makes sense um, because with the star here, it's almost like you might be having faith or hope in something new, something else. Something is restoring your faith, restoring your hope. What else do we need to know for Leo? Courthouse. Yeah, this is somebody making official decisions. 
This could be legal situations, um, official orders of business. Um, this could be an, um, a building that you work in. Um, this could be somebody doing all of the paperwork for something, arriving at a final decision, etc., etc., etc. There's a lot of um, <laughs> there's a lot of things that the courthouse means. But when I say courthouse and taking action, I think of someone that knows what they want to achieve perhaps or knows what decision they want to make they just need to make the move to get there um i feel like you are thinking about making some sort of move planning some sort of move you could even be moving like physically moving jobs some of you are moving out of a place um What else do we need to know for Leo? What else do we need to know for Leo? The eagle, yeah. So the eagle is, um, if I'm not mistaken, oh, and then we have the black egg at the bottom of the deck. Hold on, because sometimes I confuse the eagle with the hawk. But I think the eagle is the one about the karmic fire yeah so this is about being thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation um, being pushed to be our brightest and best selves and um, this is basically about just grabbing the sun and holding on for the ride you are stronger than you think truth seeker is also one of the key words here which is funny because the black egg is all about an authentic truth speaking from your heart uh, asking certain questions about you know what the truth really is what do we need to really know or be thinking about speaking from an authentic voice so I feel like there's some you're gone through some sort of karmic situation or possibly going through some sort of change um, that I feel is spiritually guided. I think that you are um, recognizing the truth or uh, recognizing a situation or a person for what they truly are. And this is a common theme for everyone. Nobody can escape this theme. <laughs> no matter what sign I'm doing, no matter what deck I'm using, it always comes out. So let's look at your person. Tell me about the chariot you're making some sort of move but then they have the chariot too what's this chariot about what do we need to know about the chariot justice libra energy same same energy tell me about the chariot what do we need to know page of wands reverse what else what else do we need to know about the chariot the hangman reverse this is somebody back and forth. Yeah, Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, uh, the Tower Reverse, Moon Reverse, Five of Pentacles Reverse. This is somebody going back and forth. I feel like this is someone that is still trying to figure something out that they already know. That's the energy I'm picking up. Somebody that already knows what the choice should be, but um, but they're not they're not taking it, and it's almost like they're they. Um, if this is someone that's told you that they don't have the resources or the courage or they just can't make something happen and become unstuck or become free of a situation, that's not really true. They're keeping themselves there because they already know what it, what it would take to get out of a situation. This person could be married or in a long-term commitment already. They're trying to avoid a tower. But the moon is reverse, so Pisces energy here, I feel like this is not a tower they can avoid. Um, five of Pentacles reverse, they could be worried about money. Uh, five of Cups reverse, this is somebody that's probably trying to recover something. So it's really strange here because um, I almost get the sense that this chariot and this justice card is you. It's like this is how they're seeing you. Maybe you are requiring them to make a move or asking them to make a move or telling them that the final decision needs to be made. Maybe you're tired of waiting for them to do something or you want to see some sort of action. Maybe this person is trying to prevent you from taking a step and becoming free. I see that as well. 
because they're trying to avoid a tower. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is some sort of promise. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Yeah, Four of Swords. I, this person is the person that's not moving. Um, and this is what we were clarifying with the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone that's just, you know, in this stuck energy. The Empress. Ooh, and the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Moon Reverse King. Okay, so Moon Reverse King, Re King of Swords tells me that, once again, uh, whatever someone's trying to keep hidden or whatever illusion someone's trying to keep alive, it's not going to work. King of Swords sees all. They know, they know all, they see all. Um, this I feel is related to, this could be a mother and a, and a, and a child. This could be um, someone who, uh, this could be you, this uh, empress, somebody that's very valuable, somebody that's very, um, you know, they have a lot to offer. This could also be somebody outside of your connection. Tell me about the Empress. Who is this Empress? What do we need to know about this Empress? Because I have the Three of Swords here. Ooh, the Emperor Reverse. Well, this Empress and this Emperor Reverse are not on the same page. This Emperor Reverse, Aries Energy, they don't, they, uh, they cannot meet the expectations of an Empress and they're not on her level, basically. This is, this is interesting to me because some of you are dealing with a third party, but for others of you, I don't pick that up. I, and it, if, it, if it is a third party, it's not a romantic partner. So this could be someone's parent. Uh, this could be a family member of some sort, a boss, a friend, an ex, ex partner. I don't feel like this is somebody, you know, I, I'm just picking that up, but that's not for everyone. I feel like the Empress, for some of you, this is you. They're just not meeting you there. They're not able to meet you at your level. The moon reverse, yeah. There's something here that's like coming out. An illusion has burst, right? What's, what, what somebody thought was true is not true or is not what they thought. Not Something is not as it seemed, etc., etc., etc. And it, that keeps coming up, the moon reverse. The moon reverse keeps coming up. So I feel like this is a situation that your person either is involved with or will be dealing with themselves. Um, and I feel with the Three of Swords, I don't know, pain, heartache, uh, just like you have the Ten of Cups reversed. So I feel like they're, they're, this person's involved in your heartache. The Okay, the Magician reversed and the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So this is somebody that cannot deliver, period. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. If they, if they said that they're going to deliver, if they said something to you, uh, if they promised you, you know, some sort of freedom, they would, you know, the Nine of Pentacles reverse is somebody that's not free of an attachment, dependent, not secure, not successful. They're not there yet. Um, and the Magician's reverse with the Seven of Swords here. So it's almost like this is somebody that is painting a picture that's not really true. And it could be that this is, their, their intention is to make this true but they have not been able to, to deliver that's kind of the problem what do we need to know about this person what do we need to know about this person what insight can you give us this person yeah there um this card pathway is about being on a journey but still having a long way to go I want another one. Can I get another one? So this person's on a journey that they're not done with. They could even be in a cycle that they're not done with. Great fortune. This person's concerned with money. There's something with money here. Because I have the Nine of Pentacles reverse. I have the Five of Pentacles reverse at the bottom of the deck. And I'm also wondering why someone would promise something and not deliver. You know, it's kind of weird to me. This person could also be waiting for the right time, the right opportunity, the perfect time or the perfect opportunity. And maybe that, that doesn't exist. Pure seduction, temptation, desire. Okay, that's kind of like the devil. Uh, what do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? What are their energies, spirit? 
sudden realization, happy ending, patiently waiting, yeah. Exactly what I've been saying. And then there's the Breathe In card at the bottom of the deck, which is kind of like the Four of Swords of this deck. It was inspired by the Four of Swords anyway. This person, they know what would make them happy, but they're not doing anything about it. They're waiting, which is really odd. It's like this, I, I, I feel like for the Leos that I'm talking to in this reading, 